Hi everyone, this is Elena of The Witch's Box and I'm here today with another episode of Witch's Booktube and today we have yet another book haul. So this one is for October 2019 and if you remember the very first book haul I did. Woo! I don't remember the count. I think it was at least 25 books. It was a massive, massive haul and I found myself apologizing because I think that the video ended up being like 42 minutes long, which is just so long. I don't think that this one is going to be that long and we don't have as many books. So there's that. I think hopefully moving forward, not that I mind buying a lot of books because I love buying a lot of books, but I think that those videos are a little excessive. It can be a little overwhelming. At this point, it looks like I'm going to try to organize my book buying life into a chunk before at the beginning of each month so that I kind of plan out all my reading and know what's going on. And because by the time that this video comes out, if I am not mistaken, our very first shipment of the Witches Book subscription will have already gone out. And part of the reason why I had such a massive book haul in September was because I had been buying a lot, a lot of books to do reading ahead of time to be able to make at least six or seven months choices worth of books for the Witch's Book subscription. So all of that to say really quickly, if you don't know what that is, we have a Witch's Book subscription along with the Witch's Box, which is a different thing. And for the Witch's Books that we send out, you get two books a month on intermediate to advanced witchcraft. You also get admittance into what we are now calling the Witch's Book Coven. It's a private forum on our website where we can discuss the books that we're reading together. We can discuss the magic that we're learning together. And then at the end of each of those months, there is a live online gathering where we talk about the books kind of like another level of the witch book club witch book coven and on occasion when i can wrangle an author in we're going to have an author join us so that we can do a q a and talk to them about the books that they wrote as well as their own witchcraft practice and path so many things if you're interested in that the link to that is down below it's 30 dollars a month and it is well worth the 30 dollars because you get the books are a great value but it's way beyond that. We're creating community and it's all about creating community around learning and deepening our spirituality, which I'm so excited about. So that said, the books that I have here, I have not read. I haven't read anything by this writer, but you'll notice that every single book in this haul is by this specific writer. He has come highly recommended to me. I don't know anything. I may love these books. I may hate them. I don't know. We don't know, but I'll let you know as we go. It is likely, so please pay attention because I keep getting this question often, it is likely that if I really love these books, at least some of them, if not all of them, hopefully all of them, they may make it into the which book subscription send out, which makes this really hard. I hesitate to share this with you only because I don't want you to go out and buy them and then if you're part of the subscription, you're going to get it in your subscription packet. So just keep that in mind. I know that I have kept all of you well listed. Like you have a long list of all sorts of books that I've recommended that you can read. Get those. And then hopefully by the end of October, I'll have an idea of whether or not any of these books are going to make it into the book subscription. That's as good as I can do. <laughs> so the author is Christopher Penchak. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of his books in this haul. So it's not as big as a 25 book haul in the previous video, but these books have come super recommended to me. I think that he predominantly writes from a Wiccan angle, but in my book, like some people really have a hard time with that. If you're not Wiccan, you almost don't want to read a single thing having to do with Wiccan witchcraft. I don't care. I read all of it because I think that there is something to be learned from everyone in one way or another. So we will see what these books are like. Again, I haven't read them, but he has a four book series that is chunky. It is, they're huge. In fact, I feel like I can do weights with these and get big muscles. Like these are four books. And the last one is like a 600 page book or five, just under 600 page books. So I will show them to you. I actually don't know what order these books came in, but they are part of a series. And the first one is called The Outer Temple of Witchcraft, Circle Spells and Rituals. Beautiful. I mean, the design is beautiful. It's also that, you know me, that kind of satiny matte feel that I love. These books are chunky. I really suspect that they're not going to be at all Witchcraft 101, which is, of course, what I'm looking for for all of you 
when I look through these books and find them. So there's this one. The next one is The Inner Temple of Witchcraft. Beautiful magic meditation and psychic development, something that a lot of people ask about. So there's that. Again, gorgeous design. Loads of information. I'm really excited to dive into these. I'm a little intimidated by the size because I've kind of created a pretty ambitious reading schedule for myself and with all the work that goes into the witches box I'm pretty much not gonna be doing anything other than working and reading at this point which on one level is amazing and great and I'm glad for it and on the other end my husband's like uh when do we get to play and do fun things and I'm like I don't know babe so here's the other one the temple of shamanic witchcraft shadow spirits and the healing journey I'm really interested in reading this one they seem to get bigger and bigger in the pile boom Again, and if any of you have read any of his work, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are ahead of time. I don't remember exactly how many people, but his name has come up often when I have a conversation with people and they're like, you need to read his books, you need to read his books. The last in this series is The Temple of High Witchcraft, Ceremonies, Spheres, and the Witch's Kabbalah. This is shiny, which, Christopher, you need to change the cover of this book back to the yummy satin. <laughs> Christopher's like, I don't care what you think. So anyway, there's this. This is the meatiest book by far. I'm really excited to get into these. So there's that. So this is part of the four book series. It looks like they're all kind of patterned after the elements. Maybe there's a fifth one coming. We never know. Not that I could find, but that's it for that series. The other books of his that I purchased was one called Ancient Wisdom, Modern Spellcraft, Instant Magic. So there's that. And again, if I choose any of these for the book subscription service, I'll find a way to let you know. And then the others, I'll do a review on them unless they're super duper beginner and I just don't see reason to share that with you. But I really doubt that these books are going to be in that category. I think that we'll probably be hearing about this in a video of some sort soon, or in the, at least before the end of the year. This one's called The Mighty Dead, Communing with the Ancestors of Witchcraft, which by the way, I'll probably end up reading first only because at the time of this video going live, there have been at least three, maybe four videos already on books on ancestral work that I've covered because October will be a whole month focused on ancestral work. Yeah, I'll see if I can squeeze this in. We'll see. But there's that. And then the other one is called Feast of the Morrigan, uh, a grimoire for the Dark Lady of the Emerald. I think I mentioned, I don't know which video it was, I mentioned in a video at some point that Similar to the resurgence that Hecate is getting, the Morrigan is also seeing a resurgence in interest, in worship, in veneration. I have about four or five books now that talk about working with the Morrigan. So we will hear about that. And then here are the last two. This one is The Witch's Coin, Prosperity and Money Magic, because none of us can get enough of that. There's that. The Gates of Witchcraft, 12 Paths of Power, Trance, and Gnosis. There's that. These are really extensive books. They're, I just, I'm impressed by just the amount of information that each of these books seems to have. Again, I haven't read them, but I'm really, really curious and excited to do that. I mean, there's lots of got cool diagrams. Who knows what's going on? I love it. This is by no means all of his books. I think that there are quite a few others out there. This is a very prolific writer, so I, I'm definitely excited to dig in. I'm going to read to you really quickly a little bio just that it's here. Christopher Panchak is an award-winning author, teacher, and healing practitioner rooted firmly in the traditions of modern witchcraft. He draws from the timeless wisdom of many cultures in the creation of new techniques and modern traditions. He is the founder of the Temple of Witchcraft T Tradition, a nonprofit religious organization based in New Hampshire. So there's that. And if you want to read more about him, there's a website. It's called templeofwitchcraft.org. So we will be learning about him together. Stay tuned for more information, I'm sure. I just suspect that probably one or two, if not three of these books may make it into the book subscription. I will let you know about that. So don't buy them yet. Unless it's the Ancestral book, which I will cover and do a review of soon just because it's just, just the perfect time for that. And that's what we've been talking about generally in our booktube channel. So that was October's October 2019 book haul for this month. I will give you another one in November since these are so much fun to do and it just gives me another excuse to talk about books. If you've read any of Christopher's books, please let me know about them below. If there are others that you recommend, let me know down below. 
and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notification on when these go out. And any other information that we've got going on, you'll find it in the description box below. So there you go. Have a wonderful week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.